Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about chord inversions on the guitar and before we learn the guitar what we need to do is look at it from a keyboard point of view. Uh, I'm going to be stepping it up here to sort of say a college lecture level. Um, if you need all this broken down, I have other videos that breaks it down, but hopefully you've learned by now that on the scales, you have eight notes in the scale, a chord is made up of three notes of those eights, the first note, the third note, and the fifth note make up, it's, um, make up a chord. On a guitar, it's a little bit different. If you play a C chord on the guitar, there's five strings that you're playing, yet the C chord is truly really only three notes. So I want to make sure we understand on the keyboard what's going on to translate it to the guitar. In other words, the guitar is playing repeated notes to make a C chord. It's not changing different notes. It's playing the E note twice and it's playing the C note twice. That makes up the five notes. Um, you get to a G chord, it plays the G note three times but there's truly only three notes to the chord, so how it translates to the guitar is very important. And this is, quote, a game changer. Once you learn this and understand it, it's, it's mind-blowing. Um, need to do a little backstory to explain how I got to this point. Uh, one of the exciting things in life is learning and progressing from what you've learned, and the guitar is a great way, that's why we're all here, trying to learn and progress on the guitar. Yes, you can play the guitar, C, G, and D all day long and not pay a bit of attention to music theory or understand musical knowledge. But if you do want to expand your knowledge, doing chord inversions is a game changer. And what I mean by that is playing the first, third, and the fifth note. Now, you, instead of starting those notes in the first three, five, start it with the third note, the fifth note, and then the first note on the top, that's the second, excuse me, that's the first inversion. So a C chord would be an inversion, another inversion, and it sounds like three separate chords. And the way I found out about that was when I was learning to play guitar, um, playing piano and guitar both at the same time, well not at the same time, that'd be a trick. Uh, so I'm on the piano, I'm learning, I'm listening to a Yes song, and all of a sudden they hit a couple black keys. I go, oh my God, I go, this song is in the key of E major. It's got four sharps in it. I was so excited and so happy that I learned how to find a key on the song from the piano. I was like, wow, this is great. You know, got good told my parents, my brother, like, hey, I found you know, something new, E sharp. Um, so I'm trying to learn another song and I'm trying to learn the chords and it starts like with a C chord and then it changes to a G chord and I'm thinking well it's what's the next chord and I can't find it I start with A B C D and for some reason it keeps going back to the same chord I just played I go scratch my head well this is odd it, it sounds totally different yet it keeps going back to the same chords and I'm getting frustrated um, and then I learn about chord inversions. Why when I'm trying to play a different chord to find it, I can't find it because it is the same chord. So I'm trying to find C, 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 G. And I'll go into this in a little bit more depth. So it was really interesting to learn that and it's like wow and that's a that was a game changer for me and learning music, listening to music, it's like now you could hear a song and go, oh, that, that's an inversion, I can tell because it's the same chord. And it, it's awesome what you can do with chord inversions. To translate it to the guitar from the keyboard, this is basically pretty simple. First, third, fifth, third, fifth, first, the top inversion is playing the fifth note first, then the first, then the third. And we got it in both, so you can actually see what's going on. This is all C major. So how does that translate to the guitar when we play five strings? 
I'll show you. Okay, so here we're going to do a little chord inversions on the piano. First inversion, second inversion, then G chord. Back to C. So that's C, 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 G, and if we did it just C, it'd be versus the inversions. Okay, so we got the guitar. How does that all translate from the keyboards to the guitar on the inversions? Basically, you have your C major chord that you normally play. But on your first inversion, you're not going to play the C note on the fifth string. You're just going to play starting on the fourth. And then when you go to do your second inversion, you're going to start the note with the root note on the G. So to show you on the guitar, versus Just play the lower three notes on the C also. That would be what you have similar to the piano. Versus and you can even play it using three notes. six chord inversions it's tough trying to explain it I hope the I hope take seven take eight there we have it chord inversions making one chord sound like three I hope that I've explained it fairly well because it is a little bit different difficult concept to explain um there we have it peace out